Welcome to another edition of Sundays with Steve and Mike. This is all about my promise to share with you Longbow Key from the eyes of the folks that work here, live here, and play here. My name is Mike Rennick. I'm the team lead and senior broker with Team Rennick Real Estate Services. My partner in crime as in every Sunday is Mr. Stephen Reed. Stephen is the owner, the publisher of the Longboat Key News and the Sarasota City News. Welcome, Steve. Hey, good morning. Good morning. We're in a little bit noisier environment. We're standing on the side of Gulf of Mexico Drive, uh, actually on the sidewalk on the side of Gulf of Mexico That's Drive, right. so we're safe. But if you hear a little bit of background noise, that's why. Why are we here this morning? What's up? Well, there's two things that'll be happening soon. One, we're at ground zero, where the undergrounding of Longbow Key, the $50 million project to bury its power lines, install a uh, fiber optic cable, and mm -hmm. bury all the cable facility, everything on the power lines is gonna happen. So now, it all goes underground? Everything goes underground. Okay. The power poles go away. If you ever seen the way the um, Asplun crews cut the trees around the power lines, like so many bad haircuts, yeah. all that's going to go away. We'll get real trees. The power lines will be underground. It's an effort to make the system more stable. You know, we're vulnerable to storms. They were going to put these bigger poles up, FPL, and that's when the town decided, since you're going to put up bigger poles, right. let's talk about undergrounding now. Yeah. And they, we, we sort of seize that opportunity to do it. And then we can define the look by putting up nicer looking uh, light poles right. and, uh, and maybe better landscaping. So we can better control the ambiance of the island. Yes. And also get better, higher quality service because it's buried, it's protected. Yeah, yeah, and, and integral to it too is that fiber optic. It allows some opportunities to enhance wireless uh, telecommunication mm -hmm. and, 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 other, uh, and other innovations in that industry. At, as we've talked about, 5G is yep. coming and blah, blah, blah. So it all plays in. And why we're here specifically is, as I said, it's gonna start, the undergrounding is gonna start on the south end. The first phase is gonna go, just fr start from our south, okay. which is the south end of the island at Key Club Drive and it's gonna go up to Country Club Shores, okay. right about to the north end of the golf course. Okay. Then they'll, ironically, I guess, jump to the north end of the island and do some work near the village on the north end of GMD. So that's the beginning of it. But now there's an issue in terms of what? Big issue, all right. The issue is, is the, pa the light poles. Okay. Now the town, and I'm gonna enter a little bit of an editorialization here, like all government, the, the wheels, sometimes they're square, and sometimes then they get dragged along slowly. This is not efficiency. This is not big, quick boardroom decisions with brilliant minds exercising uh, great uh, uh, thought processes and think tanks. This is government moving slowly, responding to po politics and pressure. So what you have is we have a decision to make. Are we gonna make tall light poles that look generic and are what you might see along a highway or mm -hmm. on the way to Lakewood Ranch, your typical suburban thing? Or are we gonna have beautiful light fixtures that you would see in a high-end communities like the Hamptons, South mm -hmm. Palm Beach, um, Nantucket? So we have some decision-making to go. Tall means less of them, cheaper, big aluminum structures with big arms. Yep. You've seen pretty light poles, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. And, and, and so those are some of the decisions. The pretty ones cost more, you need more of them, but yeah. you can define a look. So where are we in the process of making a decision? Well, the further confound it. It's some never of the, easy. No, it isn't. Some of the commissioners and some of the staff really want to enhance wireless coverage on the key. Okay. And so they've partnered we haven't done anything real formal other than this relationship with Waterleaf, a private company that wants to, with us, build out a wireless telecommunication network that okay. it says it will then sell to the carriers the rights to use. Okay. But there's no commitments from any carriers, but 
that system needs to be island-wide. So there'll be far more poles if they do that than there would be if we just had light poles. So we may end up seeing poles, through, we will if they do that system, see poles throughout, um, throughout island side, throughout every street, every avenue, every corner of the key will have to have this infrastructure well, because it would be system wide. Let me ask this, and you may not know the answer. They may not have gotten to this part. I'll make something up. <laughs> how about that? 5G is changing how wireless will be delivered. Correct. And we're right around the corner from 5G being delivered. So are they taking that into account with this? What the main driver behind this is, is under telecommunication law, they treat telecommunication companies, federal government treats them like utility companies. Right. They have the right to use the right-of-ways, public right-of-ways. So the government, the argument for doing that is saying, hey, they're going to come anyway, they're going to put poles up where they want. If we define it and put them where we want them and how we want them, we can then try to get them to use our system. The argument against it is they won't use our system. They have no, you can't require it, you can't make it. All you can do is reasonably legislate the height and some of the placement standards. The thing so, we have to be careful though, it's changing. So exactly. the solution today won't is be a solution. Different. So as we talk no. about these things, I hope that the council is really taking into account how 5G That's will be delivered. That's my issue is we are not experts in this industry. We're relying on a private company that has a interest in in making some money off of this deal. Sure. And so I worry because the technology is emerging so rapidly, the antennas of these phones are getting better, the companies are gonna place them where they want to. There's only 6,000 or 7,000 residents here who pay their bills for cell phone services on this 10 mile island. It's not a big market, right? right. right? It's a tiny market. It's not like Sarasota, mm -hmm. which has you know, 100,000 people right. in a small region. So, you know, there, there, there's a little bit of grasp there. But again, when we're going forward and you say we're relying on someone we're paying, there are a handful of cities where 5G has been deployed. It's not yeah. pervasive across the entire metropolitan areas, but we can still learn from that in terms of how this technology Absolutely. is being delivered. And is it... Well, and even within this idea of what kind of poles, if they do what's called these smart poles, mm -hmm. what it means is they'll hang these infrastructure, there'll be a light pole, then they'll put a black box with antennas on that light pole, and then there'll be additional placement of smart poles that won't have lights. I think residents will be very surprised aesthetically what this turns into if that okay. happens. Okay. Um, I, I'm hoping mm -hmm. the city moves very cautiously that we get the most beautiful light poles we can get. And well, that we, we get one chance to do it right. That's right. Or, or we could be like the city of Sarasota with parking meters and do it several times and pay yeah. over and over. So That's a whole nother discussion. Yeah. So, all right, again, Thank you for uh, sharing that information. This is another issue we need to come back. We will be back. We yes. need to revisit. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Steve, thank hey, you for being for, here. Thanks for bringing sharing this your, uh, to the, everybody, the and, people. And you're sharing your Sunday mornings with us. So thanks, everyone. Take care.